The new compact mid-tower H500 and H500i are the newest additions to the H-Series line of PC cases. The H-Series showcases NZXT's vision for modern PC building. For both the H500 and H500i, we've updated the tempered glass panel, removing the four screws from the front of the glass and moving to a single captive thumbscrew attached to the rear of the case. The H500i includes the NZXT smart device, providing Hue Plus and Grid Plus functionality. This includes preset and custom lighting modes using our pre-installed RGB LED strips with individually addressable RGB. The NZXT smart device also includes digital fan control for both voltage regulated and PWM fans and full integration with CAM. The H500i also adds an integrated vertical GPU mount, removing the vertical GPU mounting bracket cover Insert your own riser cable into a PCIe slot, install the GPU on the bracket, and then connect the riser to your GPU. For best cooling performance, install a 120 or 140 millimeter fan as an intake on the front of the H500i. Both models include several additional builder-friendly features. Like the rest of the H-Series, we've simplified the installation of the cooling fans and all-in-one and custom loop water cooling using a removable bracket allowing you to install your fans and radiator to the bracket outside of the case. Be sure to install the fans and radiator on the inner side of the bracket, leaving space for the air intake for best thermal performance. There are two 2.5 inch drive trays located behind the motherboard. Gently squeeze the quick release to remove the tray. Install your drive and then use the quick release to put the tray back into the system. The 2.5 inch drive tray can also be mounted on the top of the PSU shroud. A 3.5 inch drive tray is located under the PSU shroud near the front of the case. Remove the tray using a screwdriver, install your drive, connect your cables, and then return the drive tray to the system. The H500 and H500i were designed with an added angle on the motherboard tray and enough clearance to allow the installation of all cables you need. Plug in the PSU cables you'll need for your build. Then install the PSU into the chassis and secure it into the chassis with the provider screws. Once everything has been installed and your system is working, route your cables using the patent pending cable management system, securing them using the installed Valco strips, keeping your build neat and tidy. Thanks for watching Builders Workshop. Be sure to subscribe to NCXT YouTube channel for more videos like this. Visit ncxt.com for additional resources on building your own PC and for more information about our products.